What's the story, Morning Glory? What's the word, Hummingbird? Thank you so much for clicking on my channel and for joining me for this review of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Season 12, Reunion, Part 2. So we're at the part where Joe Gorga stormed off the stage because Teresa called him a bitch boy for getting too involved in women's business. What I don't understand is, collectively, women in the United States have fought so hard for equality and not wanting to be treated any differently than our male counterparts when it comes to equal pay, getting the same job opportunities, um, et cetera. But when a man is involving himself or is speaking on whatever the situation is at hand, the first thing that a woman wants to do on these reality TV shows is say, stay out of women's business. What, what does it matter if it's, if it's, if it's women's business or I don't, I don't get this. Like, I totally don't understand if it's something that's involving his sister and his wife, he can't speak on it at all, period. And especially when the questions are being asked, it wasn't like whenever the women were hanging out together, Joe was right there with them. It wasn't like he chose to hang out with the women instead of hanging out with the men. If there was like an event or something where all the guys are on one side and all the women are on the other side. And he was like, you know what? I'm not going to hang out with the fellas. I'm going to, I'm going to go hang out with the ladies and, you know, see what's going on over there. It wasn't like he was doing that every single time this, they were all brought together. All the couples were brought together. Joe made it a point to separate the men from the women and be like, you know what? We don't want to be involved with whatever they got going on over there. So let's go have some beers and go, you know, chop it up over here. I don't understand why she would say that to her brother to stay out because he does, because you don't like what he's saying because he doesn't, he doesn't, um, see Louie the same way that you see him. Now you want to emasculate your own brother, the son of your parents who you cherished so much. This is their son. And you think it's okay to emasculate him and insult him and to go along with your fellow goon over there, Jennifer, when she wants to throw insults to your brother, you want to join in with her to throw insults to your own brother. So Andy tells Teresa to go try to talk to her brother. She really wasn't trying to do that at all. I don't know why she really wasn't trying to do that at all. So she finally gets up. She goes back there to talk to her brother. It doesn't really go well. I liked everything that Joe said to Teresa. I totally agreed with Joe is a real man. Okay. He's a real man. He's like, you know what? What's important to me is, is you, my sister. You're the one that's important to me. I don't care about this show. I don't care about these other people here. All I care about is you and me and you being good. And Teresa just doesn't see it that way at all. And so, um, Louis even agrees that Joe isn't too much in women's business. What does that even mean? All of y'all are on a show together. The things that are happening and the things that are being discussed are involving these men's wives. They can't have any say so on what's going on with if some if their wives are being attacked by another cast member. They just have to tell their wives, you know what? I know that you're being raked through the coal, raked through the coals by what so and so said about you and what the internet is saying about you. But because you're a female and you know the one who's insulting you is a female, I can't say nothing about it. I got to keep my mouth shut. That doesn't make any sense. Y'all are on this show together. He has every right to say whatever he wants about anything at all. So she finally apologizes to her brother. Thank God. So then when they come back on set, um, there's like a quick conversation between, um, they call Dolores's new boyfriend, Polly, um, her Irish fiance. Is that her fiance or her, no, her new Irish flame. So they call him, they talk to him, who cares? So, the thing about Dolores, now this segment is on Dolores. So Dolores, her mom is doing better. She's eating better. She's exercising, you know, taking her walks every morning. So she's on the road to recovery. Frank is now living with David in the house that Dolores and David have built for themselves. And I think that's kind of strange. Why can't Frank have his own house? Does Frank not have a job? Dolores is back in her own home with her own children. Um, all the girls like Polly, they've met him. They like him. Frank and Polly really haven't seen each other, haven't seen a lot of each other. And rumor has it that David is dating one of Louie's ex-girlfriends. So then they try to play that down. Teresa and her goon, Jennifer, try to play that down. They're trying to say, well, it's not one of those exes. I was, you know, putting out all this negative information about Louie. And it wasn't like he was really serious about her. And so um, 
I think Dolores was the one that said, well, that's the woman that Louis was dating when he met Teresa. And as soon as he met Teresa, he never called her again. He completely dumped her because he met Teresa. You picked a real winner, a real winner, Teresa, a real winner. And I just hope that this doesn't come back and slap you in the face dealing with this man. But if anything, like I said before in my, pre in my previous video, if Louis were to mistreat Teresa in any way, emotionally or physically, Teresa will never talk about it because it's so important to her to put up a front that she's happy, that she's in love, that she's living the perfect life because that's what she did with Joe Judice. She never admitted to Joe Judice doing anything bad to her, doing anything wrong to her. Um, she was in the perfect marriage. She had the perfect guy and Joe Judice was a walking red flag. And Louie is a walking red flag. And she will never, Teresa could have 10 black eyes, her whole body in a body cast. And she will never admit that anything is wrong with her relationship. There's a segment about the children. Oh, another thing, Rihanna wants to mirror her parenting style to Teresa. Um, that was quite interesting. Teresa, her, when you see her daughters, and you hear her daughters, you, you do see that she did something good. The only good thing that came out of her relationship with Joe Judice were these children. And they are, like I said before, amazing children. Because out of all they went through, they're not involved in any kind of negativity, any kind of shenanigans. Because it's very easy when you've grown up in the spotlight like that to get involved with some shady stuff. But they haven't. There's like, I've never heard anything negative about these girls. So yes, their parents definitely taught them right. So Gia was concerned about Louie based on what she herself had read about him on the internet. And there was a scene in the very beginning of the season where Gia is talking to Teresa and I think they're in the bathroom and Gia tells her mom that she really wasn't sure about Louie. And Teresa says on the reunion, yeah, yeah, because of what Margaret said. And Andy was like, this was before Margaret brought up anything. This was before we even began recording. You know, Gia was referring to stuff that she had read before filming even began. It had nothing to do with Margaret, you idiot, you clown. So, uh, to, uh, Teresa, God, I, I, I just... <gasps> Then the segment goes to Jackie. So they talk about her eating disorder. She says that she is eating more normal now. Um, she's trying to get used to her new body because she has put on weight. So she's trying to get adjusted to that. She got rid of her measuring spoon, which is like, I guess for her, like a huge step. So she's no longer measuring her food, um, which is good. And, um, and I was wondering while Jackie was telling her story and talking about her road to recovery, I was wondering if Jennifer, because Teresa's too stupid to understand what's going on. I was wondering if Jennifer felt any kind of sympathy towards Jackie at all whatsoever, or if she was just bored listening to Jackie. Then they talk about the whole fat shaming thing. Um, when uh, Teresa said whatever she said about how Margaret looked in her, uh, in her black, uh, her black, um, jogging pants because you know not Jackie no Margaret because Margaret refused to wear Teresa's jogging pants so she wore her own and Teresa was making fun of how her butt looked in those pants but Teresa did apologize to Margaret about that Jennifer and Margaret so Andy asked Jennifer if Bill was upset at all about this whole situation about the affair coming out Jennifer said that he's not mad. He's not anything. He has no feelings about anything. Margaret says, um, Margaret knew about the affair because I was always wondering if the affair was such a big, big secret, how did Margaret know about it? So Margaret knew about it, I guess, because the mistress must have, you know, blabbed to whoever, and then they blabbed to whoever, and then word got around. And that's how Margaret found out about it. Um, they talk about how Bill has suggested to Jennifer to deny the affair. Like if it's ever brought up on the show, just deny it. But they didn't. Um, Jennifer didn't want to deny it. She wanted to talk about it. And so they did give her kudos for at least, you know, admitting that, you know, living, you know, admitting to the truth of what happened. Um, they asked about her children, how they took it. 
Um, she said that as long as she was okay, her children were okay because the children were very worried about her. They didn't want her to leave their dad or do anything really drastic. So she put up a very strong front for her children to give her children like a sense of um, security. Teresa and Jackie believe that infidelity is the end of a marriage because the question was asked, um, who, who believes that, you know, you should get a divorce if your spouse cheats on you. And it was only Teresa and Jackie that, that believed that. So Teresa, Teresa, you admitted on this reunion that infidelity should be the end of a marriage. If you end up getting married to Louie and he ends up cheating on you, don't forget those words. So Jennifer all of a sudden shows receipts about the whole crooked comment. I really didn't care about that on why, why she called Joe Gorga crooked. That whole thing with her, with her poster boards and all that. I really didn't care about that. The only thing that really resonated with me with this reunion was Teresa and her brother, how she was so okay with Destroying her brother, making him feel bad, hurting his feelings. And Andy was talking pure common sense to her when he told her the things that you said hurt your brother's feelings. And you need to acknowledge that. And you need to see what's going on here. Um, Like Teresa, your own brother. And you know that Louis and you can tell that Joe Gorga doesn't really see it for Louis, but he's not going to get involved with that because he learned his lesson with Joe Judas. He's not going to get involved with that, but you can tell that he really doesn't care. Something Louis to me is disgusting. He's disgusting. He looks like a sleazeball. He looks like a very shady character. When you think about the sleaziest, shadiest, conni- most conniving, um, scam artists when you think about like used really sleazy car used car salesmen or really sleazy uh, when you think about people like I mean Louis to me I see no redeeming quality about Louis whatsoever none because her children are so supportive and protective of their mother and they see, and you know, they, they believe what their mother tells them. Oh, Louie's a great guy. And Louie's so good for me. And Louie, 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 Louie. Her daughters are not going to really see what's really going on because, you know, they're just going to go with whatever their mother says. But Louie is not good for Teresa. Louie is not good for anybody. Um, so the next reunion, they're going to bring up the hard hitting questions to Louie about, you know, and he's going to deny it all. We all know he's going to deny it, but why are there even rumors out there? Were there ever rumors of Joe Gorga, um, abusing anybody? Were there ever rumors of Margaret's Joe abusing anybody or Frank Catania beating up women in front of their children? Why are there rumors about Louie? That's all I'm asking. Why are there rumors about Louis then? If Teresa believes that these women, these exes are just out there to destroy Louis, everybody has exes. Everybody has bitter exes. Why are his exes choosing to unite and create falsehoods about Louis? Why? Why? Why would they do that? Because he's with you, Teresa? Why? So, so they create the, anyways, I'm so done. Jennifer, Teresa, I cannot stomach those two women they're ignorant as hell they're mean they're rude they're borderline evil as far as I'm concerned they disgust me no wonder Nabil is the way he is just kind of like catatonic if this is if this is any indication of what we've seen on this show of Jennifer if this is any indication of how she is in her home no wonder Nabil is catatonic and doesn't have any opinion about anything. He doesn't have any, uh, any feelings about anything, any thoughts about anything. He just goes to work and comes home. That's why he's so catatonic. Then there was an issue of the discussion went to, you know, how come Jennifer and her mom gave a pass to the mistress? No, gave a pass to Nabil, but really nailed the mistress to the cross. And it's just because they're very male identified. You know, they live in a very, we live in a very patriarchal society where the man is always right. It's always these women who are chasing the married men and all this other. So that's why it's very, it's a very simple answer. This is a patriarchal, patriarchal society. The women always get blamed for the wrongdoings of the man. Um, You shouldn't have any feelings towards the mistress. 
Jennifer, you goon. You should have no feelings towards the mistress. Your issue is with your husband who said his vows and promised to always be faithful to you. There is no excuse for what Nabil did to you. The thing about, I think it was Teresa that said something about, you know, she was chasing a married man. The married man was probably chasing her. You know, this thing about these women are out there chasing married men. What? You don't think your husband's out there chasing these women? What, what makes you think the mistress approached him and he didn't approach her? How do you know that? Like, how do you know how that went down? And if the mistress did approach him, is he so weak and so gullible that he's going to allow himself to get caught, you know, by these Jezebels or whatever the hell? Like, what are you talking about? He made a promise to his wife to always be faithful. He broke that promise. You shouldn't have any feelings towards the mistress, good, bad, or indifferent. Your only issue is your husband and what your husband did to you, not to this mistress. And then Melissa chimes in and shows her ignorance and talks about how, well, yeah, I can understand because I would have felt the same way towards the mistress, but not your husband. I'm like, I don't understand this. Your issue is with the man that you are sleeping with every night, the man that lives in your home, the man that you had children with. That's your issue. Not the fact that there's always going to be, okay, if you want to believe there's women out there chasing married men, okay, fine. There's women out there chasing married men, but does your husband have to get caught up in that? He's got nothing to lose. Anyways, I'm so done talking about these people. Thank you so much. You made it this far in my review. I really do appreciate it. I know my reviews are all over the place when it comes to this reunion because my stomach is just so, so sick of Jennifer and Teresa that I cannot even like give a proper review because they irritate the hell out of me. Um, don't forget to rate the video on your way out. If you like this content, <laughs> please subscribe. If you don't, I totally understand. Thanks for stopping by anyway, and I'll talk to you later.